Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in. A special welcome to my subscribers. I appreciate you checking back. And to you new viewers, you guys should become subscribers. Today we're doing something new uh, because there's been a few requests for this and it seems to be the latest craze. My wife got us an, a brand new Instapot Ultra. Um, so there she be in all her glory. One of the basic intro recipes that uh, everybody seems to be doing to get their feet wet, if you will, is cooking rice. So, you can see that I already have rice. There happens to be three cups of rice in there because we like to have a little bit of, uh, left over. Um, and we need to talk about styles of rice. Now this is, has nothing to do with the brand. Forget this up here. This is cow rose rice. That means it was born in California and it was uh, medium grain rice. This is important. Different grains of rice are going to cook differently. The amount of water that you use is going to be different per grain of rice. So this is a medium grain. To my three cups of rice, cow rose rice, I have three and three quarters cup of regular water right into the bowl. I'm gonna just use my rice paddle, give this a quick little mix. Now, let's talk about that. The water looks a little bit cloudy. You are more than welcome to give this a rinse, and a lot of people do, um, to get that impurity off of there. If you do that, you're going to need to take this water count down to probably about three cups instead of three quarters cup, because the rice, the rice will absorb some of that water. Okay? I did not rinse my rice, pre-rinse my rice. The lid looks like this, and it goes on uh, like so, and then turn. I know it's closed. I can pick it up. It also tells me, close and open on here, and there's a nice arrow pointing down to this other arrow. So these are aligned, so we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. This type of Instapot automatically turns right on and illuminates the front. Um, the pressure cooker is the setting that we want, so I'm gonna tap this silver button. Now it's set on the time, so I'm gonna tap, and now it's blinking the time, telling me, hey, you're setting the time. For the cow rose rice, six minutes is what we want. Now, if you wanted to change any other settings, this is a dial. You can turn it. Come on. But we want it on high. So six minutes on high, which is what it defaulted to. All we have to do now is press start. You hear it beep? Tells me that it's on. Something worth noting is this little uh, progress bar. Notice it says preheating. So when you set it for your time, it still has to account for this. This is not included in the six minute time that I set. It has to preheat first, then it will start. And it's getting close to that point right now. You can see that it's now switched over to cooking and the timer's blinking. As you can see, my timer's gone to zeros uh, and it says that it is switched over to keeping warm. First thing I'm going to do is hit cancel. Now, this silver piece of uh, metal up here is up. I have to do a full release or a quick release. And it says press to, I think, release. Yeah, that's all that's this metal is not down, so we're not done until that's down. And there you go, you hear it plop, and you can see that it's down. That means that we've now got it depressurized to the point where we are safe to open. Again, going back to the instructions, close this way, open this way. So, holding, turn, and lift. And this is what we call al dente, the rice. And you can see it's, it's sticky. Um, this rice can be used like, uh, it's a, like a, um, a sushi substitute. Um, what? So that's, that's all there is to it. And you don't have to watch me scoop it out. Um, you would just serve this however you normally serve it. You know, you can use this as a side or whatever. Um, but that's it. Pretty easy. And in total, I'd say it takes about 11 to 12 minutes, uh, counting the preheat cycle and that release of the steam and pressure there at the end. Uh, you know the drills. Let me know how you make your rice, um, because there's not really much substituting you can do here. Although you could use stock or uh, broth uh, to flavor the rice, and you could certainly put your herbs and spices into the rice. Otherwise, subscribe, share, like, comments down below, check back for the next video, and as always, take care. Peace.